Hello, thank you for joining me today. My name is Rebecca Chapman. I'm a mixed media artist based here in the UK and I make my art mainly around looking after my two small boys. So I'm always on the lookout for quick and simple creative fixes. And today I'm going to share one of those with you. It's a technique that I've discovered through doing the 100 Days of Collage Fodder 100 Day Project and it's using sticky labels. So in this tutorial you'll learn how to create your own fodder using the sticky labels and I'm going to share with you one of the ways that I use it to create colourful floral collages which would be perfect for journal pages um, or sketchbooks. Let's get going. So here's what you're going to need today. First of all the sticky labels. These are just blank white labels that you would put in a printer um, to print off um, address labels or something like that. I got these from eBay, you get them from Amazon or any other um, stationery shop. You don't need all these different range of shapes and sizes. I've got some square, some rectangle, some circular ones, but I do warn you, once you start making this collage fodder, it does become quite addictive. So you might end up with quite a stash of these. Um, you need some paint to add color to them. I'm using acrylic paint, but you could use watercolor or gouache or inks. You just need um, one of the primary colors and black and white. So I'm using cadmium yellow, processed cyan and processed magenta. You need some scissors, palette, brushes, water, and then to add detail later, we're going to use um, Posca paint pens. I'm using Posca paint pens. You don't need to use these. If you've got felt tips or other paint pens at home, feel free to use those. And a black crayon or a pen. I'm using a, a graphite stick and I've got a china glass crayon and a, a water soluble pencil there. I probably won't use all of those, um, but just use what, what you've got at home, what you enjoy using, what you enjoy working with. Um, then you're going to need something to work on top of. Um, I'm just going to work onto white cardstock. You could use a sketchbook or you could use a journal page, however you feel comfortable working. Okay, let's go make our collage fodder. Okay, so we're going to start painting our sticky labels and we're using a limited palette of colours. Um, just one of each primary and black and white so that we get a range of stickers that are all really harmonious, that will work well together. So if, if each colour is only used um, mixing by mixing these colours together, we're going to end up with some really lovely colours that work well together. So I'm going to start off with pretty much just the pure cadmium yellow and I'm just adding it onto the, the first label. It doesn't matter if you go over the edges. And then for each one, I'm just going to add in a little bit of another colour. And I'm just experimenting with what colours I like, what I don't like. Just by adding in a little bit of white, seeing how it changes. And you can really just play around and find the colours that you like. Everybody's is going to be different for this. You can see how these colours already that I've got are already working really well together. So I'm just going to carry on playing around with these. I'll see you in a little while. So we've got a collage fodder made, our lovely sticky labels, and we're now going to have some fun and make our mini collage gardens, something a little bit like this. Um, when, you, um, when you're peeling off your sticky labels, make sure you keep um, the, the bit that you peel off as well. Just stick that onto the back of the sheet because they make um, really nice patterns as well and we can use those later. So just stick those on the back. We don't like to throw anything away. Okay, so we're going to start off with just choosing some stickers as our backgrounds. And the whole idea of this is just to have some fun playing around with shapes and with colours. I use these just to gather ideas for new colour schemes, um, new shapes, new motifs um, that then might find their way into other things that I do. So it's really just about playing around um, and seeing, seeing what comes as you make really, working quite quickly between them, not having any sort of set 
plan before you start out. Um, so I've got my background ones. I'm going to start off now just cutting out some shapes that are going to go on top of here. Um, and I'm not thinking too much about an end result, just playing with the, the colours, playing with the shapes um, and seeing what appears. Well, when you're using these stickers, you can peel them off and cut straight onto them like that. Or you can cut them out from the sheet and just cut through the paper and then peel them off. So if you don't want to peel the sticker off straight away, you can cut round it on the sheet and it is a little bit easier to cut if it's still stuck to the sheet. So for these smaller motifs, I'm going to do it that way. And if you leave a little bit of the edge sheet on, then it's much easier to then peel it off. really satisfying when you're peeling peeling these bits off something really satisfying about it and then once you've used the, the, the bits that you've cut out also keep this bit of the sticker um, and you can use that bit too so peel that bit off and let's see maybe just cut that end off it's a little bit big put that bit on Stick that down there. So I'm going to work on top of these now using um, some Posca paint pens. Thank you for joining me today. I really hope I've inspired you to make some sticky label collage fodder. It's such a quick and easy technique and um, I'm sure it'll be a great addition to your toolbox. Um, it's a really good um, material to have on hand if you can just grab five minutes here and there um, to work in your sketchbook with it um, when you get a chance. So don't forget to use the hashtag fodder challenge when you post your makes on Instagram and do tag me because I really love to see um, your makes. And if you'd like more creative inspiration from me, just head over to my website, which is www.rcart.co.uk and you can register for my Creative Fix newsletter there. Or you can follow me on Instagram. It's at Rebecca Chapman Art. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.